You focused on your career. You focused on dealing with the wrong dudes, the wrong guys in your youth. You did not prioritize marriage in your youth because you wanted to live a, a, a different kind of life. You wanted to eat sushi and travel and this and that and cool. You wanted to do all that. And then you wanted to turn around at 30 years old or at 35 years old with your frozen ass eggs and everything else. And you wanted to turn to the market and you wanted to pick up investment banker. You wanted an, an investment banker to be there still pining for you like he did back in college when you were the shit. You wanted to date whoever you dated, do whatever you did, and then you wanted to turn or back around to the market on your terms, on your time frame, and get the kind of man you thought you deserved, and then have that man get on your program. Disney can't make this stuff up. To tell you the truth, I've never found anything in an older woman that I liked or wanted in a relationship. I know that some of you who are watching this video can't get enough of them, but I just don't get why a man would want a woman in her late 30s, 40s, or 50s when he could have a young woman in her prime instead. I know that some of you who are watching this video can't get enough of them. I am aware that some of you who are viewing this video are infatuated with them. In addition to the fact that their experience makes them great, what else do they have to offer? I don't understand why these women are so popular, because they are about to look old in a few years. Additionally, older women do not make ideal fathers. You'll likely have to take the road, which can be expensive just for having a child. Is it clear to you where I stand on that side of the argument? You might have wanted someone just for fun, I can see. Even if they are unable to conceive, they will be fantastic. Observe that. I understand. However, I am perplexed as to why men would eliminate these mature women with young children here. If you are 60 and dating a 35-year-old woman, that makes sense. The fact that a 30-year-old woman is dating a man in his 50s makes sense to me. However, I find myself wondering, what is wrong with these guys? As men in their 20s and 30s date women in their late 30s to mid 50s. To make matters worse, society makes you feel bad about not dating these women. I want to know where our society is going, and it's not good, so I want to know. However, before I get into why men don't date, let me say that I've never been in a relationship with an older woman because I prefer younger women. I'm going to tell you the truth because of this, and I'll be the first to admit that I've never slept with or been in a relationship. Having said that, I have lived in a home with elderly women. Also, believe me when I say that I would never, ever want to wake up every day as an older person. First and foremost, the majority of them are unpleasant to be around and have a pessimistic outlook on life as a result of destroying their childhoods. These are complaints that keep coming, have a lot of problems, rarely experience genuine happiness, etc. to put it mildly. I can't believe some of the things I've had to deal with while living with elderly women. Look at older married men and tell me if they don't look like tired people who are just walking around without a purpose if you don't believe me. If you don't believe me, you should give this a shot. It would appear that some of these men are just waiting to scream and get away from their wives. So when I see young and middle-aged men gravitating toward older women, I have to wonder if they are interested or just unaware of the trap they are falling into. My opinion it is that they either have a type or are desperate. Or because younger women prefer committed relationships, they won't be able to attract them. That is not true and is only my opinion. If you date older women, please explain why you chose that route, seriously. Let's examine the reasons men today are embarrassed not to date older women. First, men are expected to care for women by society. In society, the people around you will always want to see women treated well and in the best possible circumstances, even at the expense of men. This shouldn't come as a surprise. Furthermore, the government is conscious of the fact that women require assistance. And the student loan bailout is a perfect example of how women, no matter how strong they used to be, cannot survive on their own. Society does not shame or punish these women because someone has to help take care of them. 
Because older women who still look beautiful are promoted so heavily, they run the risk of ending up on the streets or becoming even more dependent on the system. Additionally, 45 is now 25. The government does not want to take care of these people because doing so would drain social security and other assistance programs. No. Then, as a result of the fact that there are more women than men in the United States, they will work together to convince men to assist older women who are single and require financial support. Then, what do they do? Shame men for wanting to date younger women in their late teens and early twenties and call me numerous times to try to prevent that man from dating younger women. But notice that when an older woman dates a younger man, everyone around her praises and supports her because everyone knows that she will need money in the future unless she is wealthy. After all, most women struggle financially. Simply put, you need to be aware of the centrality of women's access to support. In the end, we can all agree that there has never been a strong, independent woman who supports the student loan bailout. It's the way things are. And every woman needs men or someone to help her make ends meet and provide for herself. Second, advances in science have made it possible for women to stay together for longer periods. We all know that it doesn't matter if a woman dates or is in a long-term relationship if she looks old. Nobody will be bothered by the fact that she is single because we already assume that elderly women will be single. Their husbands typically die before them. Also, if you think about it, the man's desire to leave life early makes sense. However, miracles of modern science, as Coach Gray Adams would put it, can make a woman look pretty good for herself. As a result, women who can keep their youthful appearance with makeup, Botox, hair dye, and implants will subconsciously want to date. This is how our brains are wired because we want to see people who look young enough to be with someone else. Take a look at how frequently young adults are asked if they are dating you don't believe me. It is not expected of a person who is young and of legal age to be single. As long as older women can still look young, people will always want men to fall in love with them. If you go against the grain and want to be like these women, they will make fun of you because you are an older man. Always keep in mind that men and women are in a race to find a partner. As a result, women will employ any necessary tactics when competing for the best man possible. As a result, if dating them would cause them shame, they will choose them over younger women. If it means taking that man away from a young woman, they will do it. Is that clear to you? Additionally, some of them may already have children from other men with whom you will likely need to assist, depending on their age or whether they live with their mother. If they could objectively evaluate their true worth and recognize that they are receiving a poor deal, the majority of men would not date older women as a result. Shame is frequently used to control men and hinder their ability to think clearly. I want you to know that a man who doesn't care about shame and does whatever he wants cannot be controlled by a woman. Only men who are concerned about what other women in society think of them fall for the shame trap designed to discourage men from dating older women. Until men stop caring, shame tactics will keep those men on the plantation, dating unwanted women, and getting a raw deal. Nevertheless, it is what it is. I just want you guys to know why they are putting you in such a bad light and what will happen if you let them control you. As a result, you can choose.